Hello, this is Doug Tedwell finally getting a much needed haircut thanks to my friend Ann Fairchild. I was recently sitting in my corner office admiring the scenery through my floor to ceiling windows when I received an email from microservices architect Shelley DeVille of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Shelley writes, Dear Doug, Istio, please discuss. Anxiously awaiting your response, microservices architect Shelley DeVille, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Shelley, thanks so much for that conveniently open-ended email. The Istio service mesh is one of the hottest topics in the world of containers and microservices, so it's about time we talked about it. We'll spend at least two mailbags on the subject, maybe more, so today we'll cover the basics and look at an example. But why does Istio exist in the first place? A common architecture these days is to have some microservices, each deployed in a Docker container inside a Kubernetes cluster, then have those microservices work together to do something formally done by a monolithic application. And that works great, but as with any new technology, it's fun for about 20 minutes before someone asks about security and management. You want to control how, when, and if your microservices interact, which is where Istio comes in. So, our starting point. We assume you've deployed a Kubernetes cluster, you've logged into the IBM cloud via the Bluemix command, and you've set up the kube control command. There's a mailbag video on Kubernetes that covers all these topics if you need a refresher. Now go to istio.io. Find the download link at the bottom of the page and get the zip file or tarball for your platform. Unpack it at the command line, then update your path to include the bin directory, the directory that contains the istio control tool. You'll also be adding that to your container toolbox today. Switch to the install slash Kubernetes directory and type kubectl create f istio.yaml. This creates a basic installation of istio inside your cluster. You'll notice there are other scripts and directories, but we'll deal with those another time. The YAML file tells the IBM Cloud to deploy the publicly available Docker images that contain Istio, so you don't have to copy those images to your private repository. When the Istio install is done, type kubectl get service n istio system. Istio installs itself in a separate namespace inside your cluster, so you have to specify the namespace when you're looking for the Istio components themselves. You should see Istio Ingress, Istio Mixer, and Istio Pilot in the list. A bit of background before you start deploying your sample application to your cluster. One of the major concepts in the world of Istio is the sidecar proxy. Based on the Envoy project, the sidecar sits beside your services and deployments and monitors all the traffic that goes in and out. And, as you would expect, for security or policy reasons, Istio can block or reroute that traffic as well. You'll create some deployments and services inside your cluster over the next few minutes, but you'll use Istio Control to inject sidecars as you go. Now let's take a look at our sample. You'll be deploying a horoscope service. What you see here is a lovely Angular 5 front end to that service. There are five different horoscope applications. Each one will be a Docker container running in your cluster. They all implement the same interface, but they deliver different results. Here's today's horoscope for Capricorn. First, 
the optimistic service in which the stars say you should treat yourself to a lavish dinner tonight. Next, the ominous service, which adds the phrase, as if it were your last meal. The Kafkaesque service always says something depressing, followed by the line, your life will be bleak and miserable. And there's something we call the planetary motion service, which determines your fate from the motions of planets and constellations. In this case, it's a disturbing message from Mercury. Finally, there's a horoscope written by noted astrologer and developer works editor John Swanson. We'll take an in-depth look at that one towards the end of today's video. If you clone this GitHub repo, you'll get all the code you need. That includes the five implementations of the service, the YAML files to deploy everything to your cluster, and the Angular 5 application. Take a look at the README file for a complete discussion of everything you'll do here. To save time, I've built the five Docker images and pushed them into my account at Docker Hub. That means you can just use the horoscope.yaml file to deploy the five Docker images and create the service that sits in front of them. You could run cube control create dash f horoscope.yaml, but that wouldn't inject the sidecar proxies along with your new services and deployments. What you'll need to do is type cube control create dash f less than left paren istio control cube inject dash f horoscope.yaml then a right paren. The cube inject option on the istio control command modifies the YAML to include the sidecar. Now you're all set, except you're not. The last thing you have to define before you can start using your service is an ingress. We'll take a quick look at the YAML file that defines the ingress. This file tells Istio that traffic coming into the path slash horoscope followed by anything should be routed to port 8080 of the service named horoscope. Without the ingress, Istio doesn't let any traffic in to any service that it controls. Use cube control create dash f ingress.yaml to define the ingress. With that done, type BXCS workers mailbag, or whatever you called your cluster, to get the IP address of your cluster. Then cube control get service istio ingress dash in istio system to get the port of the istio ingress controller. Use curl with that address and port followed by slash horoscope slash sign to get the horoscope for a particular sign. If you run this several times, you'll get results from several services. Even better, if you edit horoscope service.ts in the Angular application, you'll see the horoscopes in a modern UI. Before we go, we'll look at one more feature of Istio. We mentioned managing services earlier. Istio lets you define route rules. Look at the file routeoptimisticominous.yaml. This tells Istio to divide the workload evenly between the optimistic horoscope and the ominous one, 50% for each. Cube control create dash f with that file defines the route. If you test the service now, you'll only see horoscopes from those two services. If you type cube control replace dash f route John Swanson, now the John Swanson horoscope gets 100% of the traffic. As you can see, that horoscope tells every sign to avoid Gemini's with the exception of Gemini, whose horoscope is, you will feel lonely and abandoned today. Cube control delete route rule horoscope restores everything to the original configuration. That's as far as we'll go with Istio for now. 
In future mailbags, we'll look at using the Grafana graphical dashboard to monitor the service mesh, and we'll look at some of Istio's security features, but that's plenty for today. In the meantime, Shelley, I hope that introduction to Istio was what you were looking for. And we'll see you again soon with another episode of the Developer Works Mailbag. Isn't this fascinating? <laughs> I just, well, I, the problem is I don't either, so that, that'll come through. But I'll be clean shaven by the time it's over.